Ooh, the game feels like snappier. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn. The, I feel like that massive conference table, real wood resource valuable. Okay. Follow my lead. This is incredible. I'm so happy to be back. I miss this game so much. I just played it on stream like last week, but I still, I missed it. I missed Tess. Uh, quick saves, good. Wait, hold on. Okay, good. Whew. <gasps> there you are, girl. You're so pretty. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. Combat? Combat! Death will find you soon enough! Okay. Right, we've been ambushed, so we don't get to uh to move. Like to pick our squad, rather. Mm. There you go. Okay. Uh next movement in combat. Movement points. Okay, so we've got forewarning, friendly creature with intense. All right, so you can increase the targets dodge and parry, or enemy analysis operative targets a one enemy. Okay, now this. All too easy. When you're ready to end your turn, hit space. Right. Like I'm not gonna. I mean, I guess I could. Are you here? Not a problem. Take it, cause. I might as well use up everything. Oh, these new, the icons for this are gorgeous. I scarcely believe it on a day What's like suspiciously this. Suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and their heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. Like, the way he said what suspicious, like the voice acting is like, at least for this character, he is absolutely incredibly voice acted. Because the way he said what suspiciously poor timing for such an accident, and the like, you could almost hear it in his voice that like, <laughs> what suspiciously poor timing kind of thing. And like, the pause that was there, oh, it's so good. So well done. Like, I can't even on the, the how much I love that. Little late. Spread out, no one's allowed to enter the premise. Sis, premises. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. He, the master whispers, gives you a curt bow. <sighs> okay, map. So we got the map now. Do I have inventory yet? I do. There's my girl. So do we like test with or without the hood? Well, I kind of like Tess with the hood. Like, for once, I really like the hood. But at the same time, it's not very Tess. But maybe it is. Maybe it is Tess now. We shall prevail! Mm-hmm. Wait. Wait. Did that change? So now we've got... Dogmatic. Um. So was this... Iconoclast? Is this, this must have been what benevolent was, right? And dogmatic must have been what imperialis or, yeah, okay. So, 
I apologize in advance if, at least, like, at the beginning of this Let's Play, I accidentally call it the wrong thing. Like, I go back to old versions of it. Um, so, fanatic radicals are willing to push the boundaries. Okay, so, heretical, we, 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 under, everybody, under, like, heretical is heretical. Uh, iconoclast is going to be the belief in the value of human life and freedom faith in the power of goodwill and capable of overcoming horrors and dangers of the universe without the need for artificial prohibitions the desire to seek out common ground and compromise rather than uncompromising destruction which i love this right like I, most people will be like this sounds great but i feel how, how are you gonna do that in this universe <laughs> tess is gonna find a way so i have a feeling tess is gonna kind of fall here at the end of the day if i had to um if i had to guess this is where she gone fall um i have another my stream character i have a feeling i gotta be right here because i know my chat and then me personally i don't know what character um i would play like i'd almost want to play a character that fell here personally with a little like a hint of this but more of this i just love how at least from what we saw in the beta no two areas felt the same um if that makes sense okay so this though this is the the most important thing um for like some of the refuge i wouldn't say the most important thing but one of those really important things is your profit factor um and this, no profit factor has not been changed yet, which I know we have to like keep basically doing missions and stuff like that. And then you've got the reputation system, which I'm really excited to see that now. Um, because I think they had mentioned making a few tweaks. Um, so I'm excited to see how this has changed. I'm excited to see the profit factor playing into it. Like this all just looks so good. Features, talent, or active abilities, talents, love this archetype this all looks so good this is this is absolutely beautiful i love like this interface is so snappy like i know that that's gonna sound weird but i think when you play enough games like sluggish uis like they don't bother me but they bother me <laughs> like like it, it definitely can like slow down gameplay um and so like this is just so good okay i'm gonna go wait do we have any loot I want loot. Give me some. No, nobody got anything. Okay. I guess it's time to go see Auntie. Why is the servitor's header still smoldering? It would seem the cause of the malfunction was the short circuiting of the motive force. Can I talk to you? Hard at work, bowing his head in fear of avoid. Of okay. That's fine. I understand. A uh, black shard resembling obsidian. You can discern a strangely barely perceptible glow. I don't know like if and when we get to come back here so i'm gonna enjoy this for a second closer examination turns out to be handcrafted object uh primitive tools okay and then we've got this massive golden amalga interspersed with sparkling it's about time stone on the pedestal as if someone has captured a piece of turbulency within the rock and then there are no like the animal were there animals here I feel like there used to be, maybe not. Maybe I was like misremembering, or maybe that's like a, that might be a different part of the ship. Okay. Victory awaits. Oh God, Tess. You're like, right girl, you were right there. Uh, a tarantula sentry gun constructed with the blessing of the Adeptus Mechanicus using a standard uh, template construct manufacturing of Kiava Gamma. Lemon, I, I know I said it was supposed to be manufactorums, right? Uh, Lehman Rust battle tank reclaimed and restored by the grace of the god emperor, the first to breach the capital walls during the pacification of Vortez. I don't know. Shot, the that yes. What is this? I won't tolerate weakness. Um. Oh, you can actually, if you look in. Imperial Creed. One dare not doubt the. F it moves. Oh my gosh! You see that? It's got like a little bit of animation to it. That's incredible. One dare not doubt the faith to the God Emperor for gain in. I can't read the rest of that. Imperial Creed. None shall stand in my way. 
exhibit is unfinished, another symbol of the Von Valencius Valor will be displayed here at some point in the future. Ooh. Okay, and then I think we had this rock still to look at. Strange object that resembles sea coral. Porous surface is pitted, a sign that it has been underwater. And then lastly, a gray green crystal with white veins. A loyal hum can be heard coming from the artifact. Ah, that's interesting. You know what this one reminds me of? Um, the the I know it's gray green, and the other one wasn't gray green, but it kind of reminds me of the one from um, Wrath. The the crystal that you could pick up, or like it's in the knife too at the beginning of the game. Okay, I think I've seen everything that the game and then this area of the game has to offer like i don't i don't feel like we left any exhibit unlooked at i feel like we have properly looked at everything auntie theodora has on display because you know you know auntie theodora had us walk through this and take like have us taken this route on purpose this is to show who she is and i love that i love that like already we're starting off on this level with her mm -hmm. That is simply irrational, Lady Theodora, says the man dressed in peculiar garb, his voice tight with tension. His face, half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in a grimace of displeasure and disbelief. Assimilation with the trade structure would be political and economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. Then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation no worse than my seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do with Aeon 6, Edelthrad? Uh, and by the way, I forgot the descriptor. I'm sorry. The tall gray-haired woman pins him with the gaze, her cybernetic eye flashing crimson. Uh, we're going to survey the room first. Your first impression of Edelthrad, who appears to be about 30 years old, is of parchment-like skin stretched over a tight, bundled mass of sinew, implants, and bone. Nervously twitching fingers, the face twisted by a slight tick, and the jerky movements are all signs of some illness or defect that has taken over his physical form. In stark contrast to Edelthrad, Theodora von Valencius features appear as if they were carved from marble, eternal and indestructible. Head raised high, proud posture, hands clasped casually behind her back, everything seems to emphasize the difference in status between her and Edelthrad. Behind the two of them, you see two more men. One is a gray-haired officer of impeccable bearing, who's studying the contents of his data slate. The other is a behemoth bristling with holsters and baldrics containing all manner of weapons. Our second candidate has joined us. The dry female voice and the powerful feeling of being watched force you to look at Theodora. The rogue trader is looking straight at you, and her gaze, like herself, is predatory and oppressive. Tassara, approach and give me your answer. Uh, your character. Okay, so this is for the, um, the this stuff. Consider this hypothetical situation. Ion 6, a new world on the fringes of the Coronis Expanse. High seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, metamorphic rock deposits, prospects for large scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Fights of fancy, oh, flights of fancy, you might say, but attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crew sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure? So, those spirits could well be natives named for dangerous aliens. I would first verify if that is indeed the case and if the population of Ion 6 engages in Xeno worship. Uh, so that was... Zeno, okay, and then there are ways to confirm whether what is happening is witchcraft or not. It might cost several psychers to do so, but it will give us an answer. I believe I could use my personal abilities to ascertain whether they use sorcery on Aeon 6. It would require going down to the surface in person. These reports of spirits certainly sound like the evidence of heresy. However, I would put first my interest first, no matter what that means. Uh, Aeon 6 must be purged for the good, or sorry, Ion 6 must be purged for the good of the Imperium. Um... Let's see. I forget what I picked the last time. I feel like I have more options this time. I might not, but I do feel like I do. Um, would you... I feel like i go with this, though. Like, Tess is also very self-sufficient, I feel like. So I believe I could use my personal... Because she's not asking in the... Like, 
Auntie isn't asking in the context of if you were the rogue trader, but if you were in like this position, what would you do? So Tess is self-sufficient. I believe I could use my personal abilities to ascertain whether there was sorcery on Ion 6, but it would require going down to the surface. Yes. Ah, yes, personal intervention. The surest way to leave yourself vulnerable. Theodora absentmindedly touches one, one of her many augment, augmetics. What say you, Edelthrad? Your sister in sorcery is not afraid to face danger, unlike you. Oh, oh, see, I, I actually really and truly like the way that that went down. A psyker soul is a yawning gate for the ruinous powers. Edelthrad's gaze burns through you as he grits out every word through his teeth. One could hardly trust a servant of the Imperium who is so eager to usher in corruption. I gave her a straight answer to a simple question, which as I understand was still more than you could do. We're both servants of the God Emperor and Lady Theodora. Does it become any of us to s of our status to engage? And so, hey, if you I find your tone disagreeable, you'll kindly alter the manner in which you address me or else you'll live to regret the consequences. Shut your mouth before I decide to shut it for you. <laughs> um, I gave a straight answer. No, um, hmm. Uh, kindly alter the manner in which you address me or else you'll live to yeah i like this i like this because like this is very like i i like the fourth option as well a lot but i feel like option three is just a little bit more civil and i kind of feel like in the back of my head tess is gonna like kind of going along the lines of like she's slightly nicer as far as this universe goes so i feel like danger is still slightly nice he tilts his head well i find your company disagree agreeable tessera and yet i am forced to endure such metal thread theodora's tone renders him silent i believe i gave you an assignment on the ship explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview i beg your forgiveness lady theodora your presence has such a profound effect on me that i well forget the time metal thread bows ceremoniously and takes his leave without sparing you another look Bye. Bye bye. Theodora's gaze follows him as he leaves, and then she turns to you. So, Tessera, why are you here? There are questions that I wish to have answered. You are direct, I approve, but you will have to wait. There is something I want you to understand first. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of Af Scaris. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity, and my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic, the Warrant of Trade, kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign and bode death and ruin to us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches, mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing, and you, Tessera, are one of those with the Von Valencia's blood in their veins and a rightful claim to the inheritance when the hour comes. Hmm. I think, I think she's gonna be ready. Like, I, I know in the beginning I was waffling with this, but like how she was going to go in the beta, but I think she's ready. I'm ready to take on the sacred purpose. Yes, you would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things stand, I have doubts uh, you are, that you are suitable for the role of rogue trader. Blood right, al blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your ability and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for one of their closest ally. Theodora sighs, looks away pensively for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Uh, Conrad served me for many years before he made his mistake. One of, uh, did I hear correctly? The Master of Whispers is related to you? His kinship to me is the most distant, as, is most distant as is yours. Nonetheless, he does bear the name Von Valencius, even if he avoids using it publicly, and as such, strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is closed to him. Uh, Vogvir's performance and his current role is satisfactory, or at least it used to be. One of. There are others. 
Naturally, some have yet to arrive on board, but you have had the pleasure of meeting one. Edelthrad may be somewhat disconcerted by the scale of the responsibilities that may potentially fall upon his shoulders. However, I have a good feeling about him as a candidate. If you are satisfied with Edelthrad, what senses are having in this conversation? Why are you wasting your time on me? She shakes her head. Impatience. I'm rather fond of impatient people. They are not as quick to resign themselves to circumstances and more eager to show initiative. Even if I do choose Edelthrad as my successor, I'll still require loyal advisors. The skills and knowledge you acquired in your former life may prove invaluable here in the Coronas Expanse. It says in your profile that you bear the brand of sorcery, albeit sanctioned sorcery that is permitted in the service of the Imperium. I'm accustomed to the presence of psychers at my side. More than that, I value their unique abilities highly. Perhaps that is why I am so intrigued by Edelthrat's candidacy. A rogue trader psyker could achieve great things indeed. However, psychers are fragile creatures, and as such, I would rather have a replacement standing ready in the event that something happens. Moreover, even changing your family name will not rid you of the fame you previously garnered. I hope it will also help you bring glory to the Von Valencius dynasty to which you belong now. Thank you for clarifying. Can I ask my questions now? The Vox affixed to Theodora's attire suddenly comes to life. But all you can hear is unintelligible noise. Theodora winces, shuts off the transmission, and gives you an imperious nod. I have some time before the navigator gives a signal to initiate the void ship translation out of the warp, and my presence is required on the bridge. Um... An inf incident took place on the officer's deck. Servitors went berserk, attacked the crew. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomats were careless during maintenance, or it could be the warp playing tricks on us in spite of the Geller fields. Or perhaps there's something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. <laughs> the gray-haired officer gives the rogue trader a look of cautious disapproval. Lady Theodora, for the god emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by the uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Adira eagerly retells me everything she learned from the whispers of her unseen advisors. This ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant folk speak of specters dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who yet live. Where is your ship headed? The Rakad system, the domain of the rogue trader Winterscale, one of my peers and rivals. Only three rogue traders exist in the Coronas Expanse, and each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day assist House Von Valencius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. I set a course for Rakad on demand, she grimaces, giving you a stern look and then shrugs. For a very specific reason. Perhaps I shall yet apprise you of the purpose of this voyage, but now is not the time. What are my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings aboard this vessel and in your new position. Eventually, I'll find a post that suits you as I did for Edelthrad. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. I have no more questions. In that case, I shall head to... Theodora's Vox awakens once more. This time you pick up shouting. Lord Captain freezes, listening to the Vox cast, and then nods and draws her weapon. Disturbances reported on the adjacent decks. Seneschal, if the need arises, protect the new blood. It is possible that the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you, than you may have anticipated. Oh no! What's happening? Auntie, we've been ambushed. Okay. All right, I got hit. Start the battle. Whoops, a doodle. Mm -hmm. Right, I don't get to control them for this. Oh my goodness, Abelard, you are just as strong as I remember. Okay, Mort. I love Mort. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Is she got kill them? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, you missed. Okay, we know how to do cover. Yes, it's better than nothing. Excellent. Love this for us. Already Tell Auntie done. her future. This. I think we're gonna Not go for a problem him. For me. Okay, so now I just quickly like I understand how a lot of this works, but 
Effects condition. Okay, so he's got four stacks of exploit on him. Okay. So that's part of like Tessera's build is the exploits, I believe. Um, and the more stacks you have, I believe it's like the more damage eventually or something like that. Oh, too easy. But because he's got the stacks and then she went, well, I'm understanding this now. I am very happy. Heretic. Mort, don't die. Also, you can hit spacebar uh, to speed this up, I believe. Yeah, no. I thought you could. Oh, uh, is he moving faster? Yeah, I think this is going faster now, which I love. All right, auntie. Oh, you like oh my goodness. You literally insist, like you literally, they, they have nothing left. Abelard's so strong. One fewer target. Mm -hmm. Mort, melt them. Okay. Received a temporary positive effect. For such effects enhance your character's capability. Okay. This is you. Yeah, I think he's... Is he too far for Tess? Yeah, hold on. Tess, you go here. This. Nothing I can't do. Now this. Already done. Opposing yeah, Tess. What's your biggest mistake? Little late, boys, huh? Theodora waves her hand in a commanding gesture. Mort, take a team with you. Clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse in survive. The rogue trader turns her eyes to you. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck. Hmm, not bad. I've seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. All sense of security offered by their positions make them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. She looks at the Vox in her hands. All you can hear is a lifeless static. The incident with the rampaging servitors may be connected to what's transpiring now. Possibly, quite likely. Theodora, Theodora winces and flicks the switch on her Vox a few times. We'll investigate at a later time. Right now, we need to isolate the affected compartments and try to assess the situation. What are your orders? She breaks eye contact with you. Mort has gone ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him. See if the Ark Militant requires aid and be quick about it. All right, let's go, boys. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm concerned about the disrupted communication with a navigator sanctum. We should already be approach the translation point and proceed to real space. Oops. Once we're done with the riot, I want to have a look at the logisters report. We need to understand what happened on the decks during the warp jump and preparation preceding it. Nobody has loot. I just want to make sure she doesn't have anything else to say. Or like, Abel, I just never response. That fight was so good. Like, I feel like I'm actually understanding I'll make claim to the stars. this a little bit more than I used to. Am I going the right way? No. Girl, you are not going. Oh, no. You are not going the right way. Where are we going? Oh, check the latest communicate. Okay. I think, did he go this way? Aha. I think it's this way. None shall stand in my way. Up the stairs. This ship is so good. Is that Mort? Oh! Okay. Oh no, it's you! Uh, let's. Conrad lets out a sigh of relief upon seeing you. Thank Providence you're alive and well. Always on time, eh? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. He pointedly looks away from the Ark Militant at you, to you. Mort, pull yourself together. The Ark Militant looks back at you. What? Did the Lord Captain send you to shivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Mort pulls his box from the belt and hardly reports on the situation. Auntie! The Master of Whispers. What is happening on my ship? The Vox net is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck. And my arc militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report. I have not yet received word from the 
Engineerium regarding any Geller Field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only vox cast from the lower bays are the one-way heretical gibberish. That madman? Or that the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Uh, here in the wart, we must provide immediate assistance to those still in the middle decks. Perhaps we can stop this way from spreading. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator sanctum are secure, and I means to do both things at once. Her expression changes as her eyes flash ominously. Theodora looks at Conrad. Edelthrand, where is he? I must know if he's unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing I know about his movements was that he arrived on transitional deck 18. Blast it! Master of Whispers, find Edelthrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Flas and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arc Militant with me. I must go to my study, and it appears that we might encounter heretics along the way. Tessera, she glances at you thoughtfully. If I may, Lord Captain, transitional deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edelthrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the House of as esteemed Arc Militant, and taking into consideration Edelthrad's psychic powers, or psyker powers, sorry. Then it's settled. Tessera, find Edelthrad and bring him here, in whatever state you find him. This elevator she points to the massive doors lead to the restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge do not let me down i require both of you do you understand uh... i can't promise that i won't lose our dearest heir somewhere along the way <laughs> no tessera down girl i hear and obey lord captain theodora waves a hand impatiently then move out more come 